Hello. Hello, hello, hello. We should be live. Welcome one and all. Hello. Do 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 Hello. Just gonna wait for some people to come in. Hey, Daniel, Cheapass, Phil, Colin. There we go. Jamie, again, indeed. What do you mean, no? What do you mean, no? Jungle man, jungle is massive. W -w wicked, wicked. Neil, Richard, stream elements, you wanker. <laughs> Jamie. Hello, Ethan. Is the port already on? Haven't done nothing to it, mate. Like I, uh, like I said last night, I wasn't going to touch it until, until uh, I started streaming it. Carl, Ian, what? How's it going? Phil C, welcome. Hello, Phil. I said, um, hello, Ethan. I said hello. Bradley, welcome. Chuckles, welcome, mate. Kappa. Uh, Space Guide, Bradley, Wacker, Bunte, Paul, Topcat. Ethan, please stop saying hello, Phil. Last chance. Elaine. Oz, DJ, welcome. Newbie. PS5 every day. Welcome, Marcian. Andrew, welcome, mate. Mike, hello. Darren, welcome. Alex, welcome. By the way, I always say hello until we reach 50 viewers. <laughs> A stupid title, welcome. Miss the West Country Witchery last night. Well, it'll make a video, so it should be alright. Uh, who else we got? Miss Master last stream. Yeah, it'll make a video. Um, stretchable, Catherine, welcome. Derek, I'm fine, Ethan. Chris, welcome. Five viewers away from before I stop saying hello individually. Alex, welcome. Matty, good evening. Uh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Scoot. Ethan, there's a delay. Please stop. She, welcome. DJ Ray, welcome. Chris. Hello, and um, yep, we're at like 60 viewers, so. David, welcome. PS5 from hell, how bad was it? Oh, it was bad. <laughs> it's still bad. <laughs> it's not done yet. Uh, I got it to turn on. Monetization's on tonight, yeah. Uh, Tanya, hello. Antonio on uh, Twitch, Volta. Say in Roblox, welcome. No friggin' notification. Yeah, YouTube plays up a lot. Um, right. We done. We're in. Hello. Asta, how far did you get? Uh, yeah, so I'll give you all an update. So basically, I'm going to take it out of the housing anyway. So, just to give everyone a little bit of an update on this. So this did belong to a customer. However, it had a lot that needed doing to it. And the reason it had a lot that needed doing was because someone else had absolutely destroyed it. So what that done was, number one, major issue, that spilt liquid metal everywhere. So I've had to clean that up. That's not that much of a big deal, not really. Number two is they've literally caked the entire board in thermal paste for whatever reason. Uh, so entire board caked in thermal paste. Number three was the HDMI, HDMI circuit is, well, was incredibly corroded because someone had used some cheap plumber's flux or something and left it on there. And it really doesn't take long to corrode it. Uh, number four was that we had, well, have a damaged fan connector. So I need to do some trace repair there. Number five is these two connectors are damaged, so I'm going to need to replace them as well. 
Number six was we had a damage trace down here, which uh, I managed to restore the trace. I'll show you that under the microscope in a minute. Number seven was we had a short on the 3v3 rail, which I tracked down to the south bridge. So I had to replace the south bridge. So, yeah, it turns on, it goes to a white light. It didn't turn on when I first had it. I originally had this in for a job for a customer, and I've ended up buying it off him for what he paid on eBay for it. He paid £150, so I gave him what he paid for it and also said to him that um, I'll give him a free repair as long as it doesn't cost me anything to do the repair. So if it's labour, that well, labour... For the labour, I'll give him a free repair as a little added bonus, so he, he at least makes a little bit out of it. So if he, for example, buys a PS5 with 19 damage traces, I'll fix 19 damage traces for free. Uh, yeah, don't ruin that PS5 like the other one. What do you mean? What do you mean? Good luck with the repair. Thank you, mate. Uh, I don't know how many balls it is. I'll count it later. It's an 18 by 18 chip, but there's... Um, there's a few balls missing in random spots, so I don't actually know. Um, so I put thermal paste on this just for testing. Uh, obviously, I didn't want to waste liquid metal in case it didn't work. Liquid metal, as opposed to thermal paste, is pretty expensive. So the plan for tonight is to get this fully working and fully back together and ready to use. This I'm going to keep for myself. So, yeah. I'm going to keep this for myself. Assuming I get everything working, but it is turning on now and it is going to a white light. It wasn't turning on when I first got it. So the plan for today is to do the HDMI port, rebuild that circuit fully, uh, replace the missing connectors and then clean everything up and give it a really, really good scrub. And hopefully after that, it'll be fully working. I'm going to try and, well, I'm going to clean up this thermal paste off here later on. And I'll probably take some viscous paste off a PS, off an Xbox Series X to put onto these chips rather than using thermal paste because thermal paste is definitely not recommended for these. Um, so yeah, a lot of clean up and a fair few connectors to do. <clears throat> but yeah, it definitely took a long time. Onikuno member for two months. Thank you, mate. Hello, buddy. How's your console running, mate? So, yeah, we're going to do the HDMI port first. That's going to be the plan, the first plan. So, let's pop under the scope. I'll just show you what I did to this, the back of this HDMI circuit as well. So, basically, this here was all corroded. Um, and really badly oxidised. So, I've had to do a little bit of surgery on this just fix your first xbox one s controller nice i've got some um elite series 2 controllers coming for a video Dwayne, evening isn't your partner going to be upset when she's the only person in the hbd to ps5 she doesn't really game neither do i to be fair but i want to i want one for my collection my plan is to get one of every single console for a collection that i've fixed and then I'm going to have them all behind me as a backdrop. Um, I've got an Xbox One. I've got an Xbox One S, Xbox One S Digital, Xbox One X, Xbox One X Limited Edition Robot White, Limited Edition Gold Rush, uh, Xbox One X, Deep Blue Limited Edition, Xbox One S, Xbox Series X. I need to get a Series S. I've got a... PS1, which I haven't fixed yet. PS3, which I haven't fixed yet. Uh, PS4, PS4 Slim, PS4 Pro. And this will be a PS5. And then I'm going to do the SNES and stuff like that as well. Can I have a thermal paste back when you've cleaned it off, please? <laughs> Is that the uh, Nintendo Switch you're referring to, mate? Keith, how's it going, mate? She plays with Phil's joystick. She does. She plays with uh, Travis's. So, yeah, I've had to do a bit of surgery on this. I had to, well, the trace was continuous, but I think that was because I was pressing down on it, but it definitely had a damaged trace. So, you can see here that I've restored a trace. 
So our jumper wire there encapsulated in uh, in the um, solar mask. Um, this I had to expose some of the trace to get rid of the corrosion. So I um, put I put solder mask over that. I put solder mask over that because there was corrosion there. Uh, well, that was just oxidized there. It was just a test point for ground, but um, I covered it anyway. Uh, same there, same down here, which I haven't actually put solder mask on yet, but I will. Um, in fact, I'm going to do that now before I forget to do it. So it needs a bit of solder mask on there. Hey, I'll be king. Welcome. Uh, this is the disc edition. Yeah, this is the disc edition. So yeah, it's it's made a little bit of a mess in places, you know, exposing traces and stuff like that. Oh, and I've got to replace the fan as well. But in terms of actual cost, it's only going to have cost me like £40 for the replacement fan. Connectors and stuff I've got on donor boards. Um, and then the HDMI port as well. Assuming that the HDMI encoder is good. But either way, I'm still getting myself a good deal. Uh, but it just wasn't viable to fix in terms of fixing it for the customer. Because he would have had to pay me over £300 in repair bills. And he didn't want that. Uh, his upper limit was £200, but unfortunately, there was just no way I could possibly do it for that. So I ended up buying it off him, um, and he was happy to do that. Disconnector is a molten mess. Yeah, I'm going to be fixing the disconnector. I'll, I'll replace it with one off the donor board. Actually, I don't even know if I've got one. I'm not sure if it's the same disconnector on um, a PS4 LG. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to check it. So yeah, I'm just I'm just protecting this. And you're going upstairs at 1 p.m. Going up at 1 p.m. Damn. I went back to sleep when I took the kids to, when I took the kids to school. Use games for the win. Hell yeah. To be fair, I only really play. Uh, like Call of Duty anyway. Alright, that should be good. Yep. Alright. So we're good there for that one. So this is a mess. So I'm going to need to fix this. So, let's start, shall we? So, yeah, it's uh, it's certainly a massive repair job. And I think it's going to take two videos. I think I'm going to end up making two videos on it. I mean, last night's stream went on pretty long, so, yeah. What's up with Northridge? He's a dick. He made a certain video and made certain comments about me, mate, if you're wondering. So, his name shall not be mentioned on this channel. Um, but yeah, never mind. I'm happy to promote other channels, usually. I don't know what solder was used on this, but it was... Certainly some solder that I've never used. How's it going, Copas, by the way? Yeah, he made certain remarks and compared me to a certain very, very nasty disease. I've heard his name a couple of times. He's a fucking asshole.
you may notice as well that links have changed when they get posted by the stream bot. If you want to join Discord now, you can just go to the coder.live forward slash Discord and it'll take you straight to it. If you want to join up on Discord, the coder.live forward slash Discord. Seville Gamer, hello. We can search on our own. <laughs> Right, okay, so this is obviously an incredible mess. So the plan here is going to be to suck the solder out of the uh, ground holes. That's going to be task numero uno. And then I've got to get rid of all of that burnt flux that's just stuck to the board. I'm going to increase my temp to 480 on this. Oh no, nah, don't worry Jamie. Um, now the one thing that is annoying me is that not you guys, not the regular viewers, there's certain people that are coming over from his channel and spamming his channel on my comment section and it is pissing me off. So if people spam his channel, like I don't mind people recommending other channels. So if you want to recommend a channel, recommend a channel by all means. But if people recommend, if people come in and say, oh, you should subscribe to North Beach Fix, I'm just insta banning them because... It's annoying. I'm actually going to add his name as a as a blacklisted not as a blacklisted word. To be honest, it's no wonder the guy. It's no wonder the guy's channel grows so much. I've done it wrong. I'm all for people doing like doing the wrong thing on YouTube. Fair play to him. He's got a couple hundred thousand subs and whatever. Fair play to the guy. That doesn't bother me. But it's no wonder he, he grows so much when people are just constantly like the. The sheep who follow him, the sheep who follow him and but swear by him as a master or whatever, they just spam his fucking channel everywhere and it's annoying as hell. Like you don't come to someone else's channel and spam, spam channels for no reason. If it's related to something that's going on, like for example, if I was struggling with something and someone said, Oh, so and so got this, then fine. So there's so much stuck in this. Actually, no, maybe not. Maybe it's just really high temperature solder. Actually, what is, what is stopping this from empty now? Oh, that diode's coming off anyway. Um, it's actually not come off yet, but it, I'm taking that diode off anyway. Alright, now let's give it a try. There we go. There was some stuck in that. But just look at that. Look how bad this port is. Khalid, hello. Uh, welcome everyone, by the way. But yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm just sick of people spamming his channel. Like, just, just his channel specifically. It's really annoying. Uh, right. So, the way that I'm going to clean the board is I'm going to use some uh, what do you call it? I'm going to use some wick to act as an abrasive like this. 
So the wick's going to act as an abrasive and it's going to basically act like a scourer for the board. And it's just going to clean everything up. And then when I use a bit of isopropyl alcohol in a minute, it should all clean up nice. I'm not, I'm not going to get this fully clean, but just looking a little bit better, hopefully. All right, let's give that a scrub with IPA. Uh, I mean, that's see. I mean, look at that like the amount of heat that's been used on this board, it just burnt the shit out of the edges of the board. And it shouldn't be a problem, that's a ground plane, but it's still bad. Right, okay. Glenn, hello. Alright. That looks a bit better. It's still not great, but it'll do. It'll do. Now, I'm not going to spend all day scrubbing the port or scrubbing the area. It's kind of pointless. As long as there's no none of that old flux left there, then I'm happy. Okay, so we're going to have a capacitor there. And a DJ diode there. Okay. On to this side. So, again, same with this side. I'm going to just add a bit of flux and then try and use the wick as an abrasive, as like a scourer, to try and clean it. And hopefully, it's going to look a little bit better. Hopefully. Because right now it looks a mess. So I've got to be careful about the pads because I don't want to scrape them pads any more than I have to. But I have cleaned all of that last night. It's just around the edges more than anything. going to come off. I'm going to get shot of these. There we go. And there 
we go. I'll get rid of them because I just don't trust them. Just don't trust them at all. So that was a test point. I don't trust them. Probably going a bit overboard here, but oh well. Did she get the job? She did. She start. <clears throat> she start Monday. She did indeed. Thank you. Right. So yeah, I'm probably going overboard here by doing this, but you know, I just don't trust that flux what was used. I'm not even going to say by the last technician. They don't, they don't deserve that title. By the last person who worked on this. Whoever it was don't deserve the title. At all. Alright, let's clean up. Let's have a look at that. Do, 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 do. Na 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 that's looking a bit better. Calling this office at this is meaning meaningless. Mm. Well, I don't know. Depends. It depends. I find it hilarious when people moan about the fact that people who haven't got any formal qualifications call themselves a technician. I call myself a technician. See, these pads are just absolutely famboozled. There we go. Perfect. Trace oxidation. Yeah, well, more trace corrosion than anything, to be honest. All right. <coughs> so, I'm going to drop a port on first before I rebuild the rest of the circuit. The reason for that is because I... Actually, no. No, I'm going to do the circuit first so I don't have to put hot air on the port afterwards. Yeah, let's do the circuit first. So I'm going to start pulling stuff from a donor board. 
for this. Uh, now I better remember where that came from. Damn it. Ah. Having a bridge there makes sense. That's why I couldn't remember where it came from. No, my diode gone. Ah, uh, now I can't see which way the dial goes. Damn it, stop, will ya? There we go. Alright, 
Time for a port. Na 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 PS4 ports, there they are. I'm good, thanks, Dragast. Um, Biznaught, welcome. Yeah, I'm good, thanks, mate. How are you? Okay. We have a brand new port. Let's just make sure it sits flat. And it sort of does. Beep. Do, 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 do. Just going to secure the port in somewhat. Okay. Just Uh, I think I made a little bit of a mistake putting that cap on first. Okay, sort this solder blob out. Okay, okay.
All right. There's Jason. He's, uh, yeah, I've been talking to him the past few days. He's doing okay. All right, eh? Uh, I could do with drawing that off properly. I've seen a lot of people put these ports in, they always use the connected first versus the anchor points. Is there a reason for that? Uh, not really, no, it just comes down to personal preference more than anything. Yeah, methods just come down to people's personal preferences, really. All right, so that's soldered. I just need to check for bridges. And then what I'll do is secure the actual porting. I'll check in continuity mode for any kind of bridges. It'll be dark behind the port, that's the only problem. I haven't got a light that I can face the other way. I have got a clip on light on the way, which I'm going to be starting to clip to the desk. So if I hear a beep, it's going to mean that it's bridged. Like I just took the probes together then and it made a beep, it'll make that noise if. We've got a bridge between two pins. And we haven't, which is perfect. Cool. Hey, do you be missing your streams? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, mate. Um, hope you feel better soon, mate. Yeah, so that looks good. A little bit of meltage. It's fine. It's normal. You know, unless you use the drop method, you're not going to get it absolutely perfect. Well, some people can, but nah, it's fine. <clears throat> it's fine. So, next up, I'll secure these ground legs in from this side. And then I've got to put a couple of components on the back as well as securing the back of the legs in as well. And then... And then the port is done. Shut up, multimeter. So I like to secure them in from both sides, which gives it that extra little bit of strength. Okay, I'm just going to use a little bit of heat. The heat's just going to help to transfer 
through the ground legs being a massive ground plane takes a lot of heat Um, because I've used heat in the area, I'll make sure that it's not disconnected any of them pins. Sweet. It's good to go on that side. So the port's solid, but obviously I've still got to do it from the other side as well, just to give it that extra strength. But that's good. Welcome to Hotel California. Cause it's a lovely place. Okay, okay, and time for this side. <laughs> that could copyright strike that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be using hot air with this so I'm not bothered how it looks immediately. And these two ground legs are probably going to merge because they've been exposed, like the middle of it's been exposed. So I'm not bothered about that either. The main thing is just to get enough solder on it. And then I'm going to use hot air because that will push the solder through as well. Not quite enough solder on that leg. Alright, a couple of components here. We've got a capacitor and a diode. So, hmm. Right, where 
Hijo y... PS5 donors. Because I don't seem to have them on that. I've got the capacitor, but not the diode. Uh, to be fair, it's... It's a DJ diode, so I'm not really that bothered. Um, hmm, interesting. I've got them on this one. That'll do. That'll do. Come on, hot air, do you think? There you go. What is that out of focus? Okay, uh, that's good. Good to go there. And uh, that's the HDMI port done. Sweet. Okay, okay. So next up, we're going to need to fix these. So we've got that one there, and then we've got that one there, and that one there. And they're all, they're all a little bit foobard, to be honest. So bear with me a second. I'm going to run to the toilet, and, uh, and then I'll be back.
Right, bear with me one second. I am back. Just need to plug back in. There we go. That's better. Uh, sorry, guys. I was just busting for the pee. Really sorry. I'm actually not caffeinating because I've got Red Bull. <sighs> no, I was just pushing for a pee. Right. Okay, okay. So, one thing I want to find out is the disk drive ribbon connector. Are they the same connector as the PS4 original? Because I don't know. <laughs> so let me just find a PS4 original donor. If I can. I can see some. Right. Okay, dog. Uh, yeah. Okay. So they connect well. So I'm assuming it's going to be fine to take one of them for that. What? Oh, you brought me a coffee up. What's your food in this coffee? Thanks. Don't drop that on me. <laughs> Sarah loves me. She brought me a coffee up. You do love me. Oh, sorry. You love Travis, don't you? You you love Travis, don't you? You love yourself. We know. Oh, Stevie, you can go and love yourself. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, so I can use that... Um, I can use that connector there, off that. And these connectors, I've already got some off another donor board, which I took off ages ago. Noid, hello. So, yeah. The only problem with these connectors is they are a pain in the arse to take off. And when I say they're a pain in the arse, you're going to see why in a minute. They take so much heat to actually remove. So, so much heat to remove. So, I'm going to need to bodge together a board holder like this look. He <laughs> bodged together a board holder like that, and then heat up from the bottom. Now, I'm literally going to have to hold this heat here for about two minutes. I'm trying to do Lucas Aid. I don't like Lucas Aid at all, mate. There's something about Lucas Aid. All the flavours I've ever tried, I don't like. You're on Discord now. Nice. They have a new energy drink out in a can. Nah, I'll stick to Red Bull. So yeah, this is going to take a considerable amount of time just to be able to remove the connector.
Okay, starting to uh, <clears throat> starting to transfer through. Is it damage superficial? I don't know. I just don't like the look of it. Uh, this is live, James. Unfortunately, mate. You could pause it and then fast forward it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm already well aware that it's going to take ages. I hate doing these connectors. And the problem is you can't really even use low melt because the ground pads are underneath the plastic. So it's kind of pointless using low melt solder. You can use it on the pins but then on the ground pads themselves you're never going to get to them. Not without melting it and then that kind of defeats the object of replacing it. Hope I'm there. Uh, heating up the right place. Yeah, see, that's nowhere near up to temperature. If I can touch that without burning myself, it's nowhere near up to temperature. I might just take the nozzle off and uh, do it a different way. To be honest, because this is just taking way too long. Right, so I stand the board up again and do it this way without the nozzle. Uh, someone just sent a donation, I've almost missed it. One second, Vladimir, thank you, mate. I wonder what it costs now, 20p or something. Thank you, mate. And, um, where are you from, Vladimir? Is it, is it Russia you're from? If it is, I am sorry about what Putin, Putin is doing. I know that most of the citizens don't even want the war. Hey, there we go. Connector's dropped off. 
then. Yeah, I know that most of the citizens in um, in Russia don't, don't even want the war. Right, this one I can just remove. From the top of the board, it doesn't really matter. Mark, hello, mate. Do that novel, Mark. You plastic. Um, what plastic, mate? Do you mean the mats? Uh, the mat's heat proof. But yeah, even on the top of the board, you'll see just how much heat it actually takes. I mean, I'm at 480 degrees here. Okay, it's just starting to lift. There you go. There's that one. I'm going to do this one as well. There you go. Ah, the smell of burning plastic, eh? No one wants a mask except Putin. Yep. I'm not really. I have to be careful what I say. I have to be careful what I discuss because um, I don't want to end up getting banned for discussing it on YouTube. don't think Vlad's the only one to blame uh, I do to be honest because he is deranged he's losing his mind everyone's entitled to an opinion Yeah, you guys are allowed to discuss it, but I have to be careful what I say. Honestly, though, politics just... They just cause arguments. Because everyone's got their own opinion. And people don't like other people's opinions. All right, that's good for that. Let's move over here. I mean, ultimately, the people that are suffering from sanctions, it's not Vladimir. It's not his government, it's the people. It's the people. Alright, we're good for that. Let's just solder on this connector here, because this one's more simple.
Do 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 do. There we go. That's good enough. I'll clean that up in a minute. So, next, I need to do this connector. One thing, one thing I'm going to be careful of here is not to get flux inside the connector. You get flux inside there, and it's, well, it's going to be a very difficult time to actually get it. Um, cleaned out so I think you don't want to go doing with this is just sold is soldering the pins like tinning the pins themselves so let's get it lined up I think that's good. Let's have a look at that on an angle. Uh, wow, are they really changing? Okay, that's taking the piece a little bit. All right, well, I guess they're not compatible. Or are they? No, there's one extra pin. Oh, you son of a... Wow, that's ridiculous. One extra pin. However, that said... It's a double ground. Really enjoy watching this channel and learn along the way. Watching stuff like this chills me out, keeping up with awesome work and cool fixes. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Different pin count, but. And so, one of these pins are irrelevant, right? One of these pins are irrelevant. So, it's probably going to work either way. The connector fits inside the cable fits inside the connector. I'll just check that. So what I'm thinking here is move it across one. 
Because this one on this side isn't ground. This one's going to be the main 12 volt line. One of these is going to be the main 12 volt line and maybe a 5 volt line, right? So, is it going to matter if I just shift it over so is that double ground only has one pin connected? As long as the anchor points end, end up soldered. If I just put it like that instead. Let's have a look at the the flux is going to hold that on. No. No, the anchor points don't line up. Oh, you son of a... That sucks. That's really annoying, that is. <laughs> really, really annoying. One pin difference. Oh, dear. Right, okay. Well, that's annoying. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I do have one board with... Um, with one that I can use as a replacement. It's all the way directly to the board. Nah. No bodging. No bodging. The annoying thing is we've got a, a coil here. Just there. In the way. So that's going to have to come off. <coughs> Yeah, no bodies on this. We do it right or we don't do it at all? Wait, is that a coil? Or is that a PC speaker? Is that the speaker? I don't actually know, but I don't know if I can use heat on that. Yeah, that's the speaker, isn't it? But the problem is it's plastic. And this is the donor board, it doesn't matter. There goes the connector. Now I've got to figure out a way to solder this on because we've got what I believe is the speaker there. So, yeah, I figure out a way to solder this on now. The only problem is, I don't, I don't think there's going to be a way to do it without using heat. Hmm. The one way I could potentially do it is to heat up the area thoroughly first. 
so as to solder as molten and then drop the connector in place. While the air is moving, that should stop it melting. This is going to be tricky though. Ed, welcome. Yeah, this is going to be tricky because the connector's in play. Uh, the, uh, well, what I believe is the speaker is there, and I don't want to damage the speaker. So, yeah. Um, no, I think it should be fine to just use um, normal Kester. I do think I need some more flux on there though, so it's got enough on it. Uh, and I'm gonna need to. I'm going to need to level the board off a little bit. There you go. Just so is it standing upright. Uh, well, so is it standing, sitting flat, sorry. Keep the airflow moving. No. No, it's melted it. Yeah, uh, I mean it's not as bad as the other one. I think that's going to be a BGI machine replacement only on them, I'm afraid, in future. It's not as bad as the one that I took off. That's the main thing, I suppose. Uh, the cable should still go in. Ow, it's hot. Ow, it's hot. <laughs> All right, there shouldn't be any pins at the front. Yeah, the pins are sat back a little bit. Right, let me just come from under the scope here for a second. The board's still a little bit warm. I think that's gone in. It's hard to tell. Ow. hard to tell unless I take the multimeter and let's just probe a random pin uh, ugh, don't stick to my fingers there you go So yeah, we do have continuity on the ribbon, which means that connector is going in, which is great to hear. 
because that means it is connected. Let's just have a look at the pins. Make sure. I think we've got a bit of a bridge. Wait a fucking second. The pin's not even on there anyway. Are you taking the... They put another pin there just to troll me. That was put there deliberately to troll me. They was like, oh, how do we troll the code out? Oh, no, let's put a pin there that's not connected to anything. Fucking punk-ass PS5. Little bitch. So you can use them connected off the other ones. It's still got the issue of soldering them, though. So this has come off a of PS5. I think it has, anyway. Where has it? Yeah, it has. The pins are sat further back, though. The pins are not actually a um, one pin out. But that is actually connected to a pad. Twenty five pins on that. You know what? It's better than it was. You put the PS4 bomb back on. Uh no I didn't mate. Or at least as far as I'm aware I didn't. Actually, yes I did. I did. You are right. Let me have a look at this one then. Because you could be right there. Let me count the pins on this. Twenty four on that one. There's twenty five on that one. Okay, so it looks like them two end pins are not actually connected to anything. Is that a ground on this side? Because now I'm genuinely confused. No. So what does it connect to then? I'm sure that connects to F7003. Right, I'm going to leave you on the microscope a sec just because I can't be honest. 
It's going to be awkward to probe as well. I mean, worst case is I'll just wait until I get another donor board. God damn it, it's impossible to probe. I'm trying to probe two sides of the board. Hmm. Hang on. Okay, I'm going to have to take this off and put the other connector on. Because I just don't know. So, I'm going to try and solder it manually, I think. Shut up, Morton Rita. So, this, I believe, is the PS4 one. Right, get off there. Looks like someone's out of a horror movie, that did. <laughs> B. Right. Let's just have a look at that and just see how it's going to line up. Ah, oh, damn it. Now I don't know which pin's meant to line up. Um, I can't heat from the bottom. The speaker's right underneath. See, I'm assuming it's got to be that pin that lines up. Because he's got a double ground. I might have to go and get one of the kids' PS5s and check. Which I should be able to do without taking it fully apart. I'm assuming it goes there. How many lines in the cable? Um, have a look. Yeah, look at my finger. Disgusting.
25. See, that's what don't make no sense to me. Right, well, I do have one more, but it is a little bit melted. And I'll need to fix up the pins as well. Hmm. See, this one is a mess. But it's still in better condition than the other one was. Wow, that's hot. I could just go and get one of my other PS5s, well, one of the kids' PS5s as a base for comparison to check which pin is supposed to line up. But I want to clean this up so I can check how many pins are on it. Damn it. Ah, keeps falling all over the place. I reckon that connector will be usable. Yeah, it probably is, to be honest. And this one definitely come off it. You know what? <laughs> that was the right PS5 connector all along. That was the right connector all along. It's got the same arm on it. <sighs> the first one I put on was the right one. It's got the same arm. See, it's awkward because you've got to, you've got to get it, um, well, you've got to keep it still. I could put it in a clamp, but I'll, I don't think I've got one that, I don't think I've got one that, that would fit.
Yeah, that connector is not going to be usable. Let's just count the pins. Twenty five. Damn it. Damn. It might be a case where I need to find uh, a replacement connector on a donor board. Could have told you that from the start, novice. Told me what from the start. By the way, I'm not a novice. I might not be able to use this until I actually get it. Um, until I actually get a connector for it. Oh, that's going to suck. That is going to suck. You know what? I'm just gonna put a uh, PS4 connector on it. I'm gonna put a PS4 connector on it, and I'm gonna ignore that last ground just to make it usable. It's a disk drive connector, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't doing it for that, Hugh. I was doing it to count the pins, for the record. I did say that. I already said I'm doing it to count the pins. I wanted to know how many pins there was on it. Yeah, I'm just going to... Uh See, one thing I do have is a donor logic board, um, like someone just said. Um, like Daniel just said, you could use the connectors are going to be the same on the logic board, like the destroyed logic board, as well as the connector for the, uh, the motherboard itself. I do have one. But I don't know where it is. Because when I sold the disk drive off it, I got rid of... Well, I just basically threw the logic board to one side and I don't know where it got put. It could be in storage. Did that line off? No. Nope. Didn't sit flat enough so as it could put itself in. Ah. Okay. Can't be found. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's all good. I can... Eventually I'll come across one. Um... And I'm not really bothered, to be honest, if it don't work for now as long as... 
as long as I get the main issue fixed. I'll have to find my logic board to use the connector from it and put it on with the BJ machine at a later date. I think that's on there. It's on there, and it's on there in the right position, ignoring that second ground. But that, because the thing is, I mean, it doesn't need both of these grounds yet. It's got both of them. Well, it's got two grounds. There's one there, and there's one there, uh, as well as additional grounds on the actual on the rest of the pins. So this ground, really, I mean, what do you need an extra ground for? Now, whether or not I'm going to get the ribbon to connect up, I don't know. I wouldn't use low melt now. It's too brittle, mate. Low melt solder just snaps. Can't use low melt. Okay, that went in. But, did it go in in the right position? So, that pin there, oh, damn it. That pin there, Should be a ground. And this is temporary. Yes. It went in, in the right position, I think. Let's check that pin. Yes. So that very end pin isn't connected. Oh, you can't even see. 